Aquarius welcome this is your August 1st to the August 15th reading so let's jump into it see what's going on for you guys and I'm doing everything that I normally do I doing the signs the letters the, the charms the the words and um the names because you guys uh, missed it so I'm um, you know I, I didn't eliminate them I just took a little break from certain readings from them. okay so we're starting out with the wheel of fortune Wow and then we have the strength card and we have the king of cups right Is that the king of cups king of cups alrighty bomb deck we have here the knight of coins okay so the wheel of fortune things are shifting things are changing and it might be whatever's going on here is giving you strength or you need the strength for what's happening here what's changing here leo energy then with the king of cups we have scorpio cancer pisces and then with the knight of coins we have taurus virgo capricorn so it looks like someone has a lot of love for you they might be getting the strength to make this happen here with you let's see let's get a charm for the king of cups we have what is oh this has been coming up a lot lately we have the open heart with the nurse's cap there so this might be someone that is in the medical profession or a healer at some point or it also could be that um someone has an open heart and they're very caring okay and then we have this um knight of coins so someone definitely wants to come towards you they might be taking their time and they want to make an offer here might be two different people might be the same person but this is slow and steady okay let's come clarify why do we have the wheel here why do we have the wheel here for Aquarius what is going on yeah okay there's a partnership coming in divine timing soulmate connection coming in get ready what about the strength card? I really feel like someone's trying to get up the courage to do this. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah. Someone sees you as very independent, doing fine on your own. So they're not sure how to approach you, it looks like. What about this King of Cups? Why is that here? Ooh. If this person has to decide, make a decision, or to do something, they sort of like they don't want to do something. They they they're afraid to take remove that um, blindfold, or it might be that you have to have to decide between two people. You might have a king of cups coming in here, and also not right away, but maybe once this Earth's okay. We we have the um, water sign here. Maybe once the water sign comes in, then the Earth sign. Is gonna get wind of it and then try to come in and then you're gonna have to decide between the two then we do have okay someone is either either it's you or someone else is walking away from something that is no longer fulfilling doesn't serve them anymore they don't want to be bothered with it it's just there's nothing there and they're moving on to something better this could be someone coming towards you or this could be you walking away from something okay now let's see let's see here what else give us more information here hmm looks like you're gonna get a message soon page of wands aries leo sagittarius someone wants to communicate they might be childish or um younger than you or just not as mature as you um, would be in the page here but they do want to communicate and they're thinking about how to do it they're thinking about how to actually prepare this or how to get yeah, something write it or maybe they're writing it over and over again and then but they want this to happen quickly so it almost feels like as soon as you get the letter or the communication whether it's a text email a letter they're gonna be like well hurry up make it make up your mind when it took them forever to get to the point of even getting a message to you mm. <laughs> okay why do we have this three of wands here why is the three of wands here and this is a cancer energy Ooh, okay this wand to come up Alrighty. someone's thinking about leaving something maybe they're thinking about relocating they're really considering i think someone's thinking about actually changing where they live maybe to be closer to you 
So, yeah, so we have here the Eight of Cups. That's what I think it is. I think someone's really considering. So they might be at a, a distance, or they just want to make sure that they're real close to you. And then um, there's they're a lot of, or they're waiting for something to happen, so they could move close to you, come close to you. Okay, what about this Seven of Coins? Oh, yeah, there was a third-party situation or something happened here. This person's thinking of how can they fix this? How can they mend this? They got um, And they're trying to figure out. They know they have to put a lot of work in. Now, th third-party situation could be someone cheating on the other, but also could be anything outside of the relationship that broke you guys up, whether it could be distance. You know, you could guys live quite a far distance from each other, so it made it hard to see each other. It could be other people. It could be bad habits. Or, you know, could have been all, someone constantly had to work and you didn't see each other. This, it could be family interrupted this connection or broke it up, you know, interfered or family, uh, family. I keep on saying family. It must be family or friends. Okay, what about the chariot? This is moving fast. There's something happening real quick. Let's see. Cancer energy. Oh, yes. Okay, so this slow poke knight of pentacles, which was at the bottom of the other deck, um, is now wants to move in quickly. Then I feel like there feels like a slow and fast energy here. So I think they come slow, but then they're going to want things to happen quickly. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's get a charm on that. Okay. Yeah. This, when I see this charm, it's like a badminton or a tennis racket or something. I can't tell what that item is that's stuck in the, in the um, net there, but it's like going back and forth, going back and forth, and then all of a sudden something gets stuck. So something has to happen. I think this person knows they can't go back and forth anymore. They have to make a move. Volleying back and forth. Now it's stuck on them where they have to make a move here. Okay. And then we have the Queen of Cups. Ooh, so we have a match. King and Queen of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. I think they see you as very loving, caring, and um, they're... Like you have this big cup of love in front of you. This is your love. You have you have so much love to offer, but the person has to be able to give back. Okay, now let's go on to another one here. Let's see what we have here. Ooh, the fool. Aries, Aquarius, starting something new, a new beginning. This person is seriously thinking how to play their hand. They're actually removing their mask, which, you know, this might be the first time they ever did that. To see, oh, now we do have the Seven of Swords. Ah, I don't know about that. <laughs> ah, taking a timeout. I think this person's always taking a timeout. Okay, so now we have the Two of Coins. Trying to figure things out, trying to balance things out, trying to make th think sure things work. I'm not too happy about this card here. Let's see what we have here. Why is the fool here? I really feel strong. This person wants to make a move, but they keep on looking and looking and looking and trying to figure out how to do it and keep on changing their mind. They're very confused. Let's see here. Queen of Wands. They see you as the Queen of Wands. They find you very attractive. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You're very, very sexy, very desirable. And they may also keep on looking at your picture. Let me get a charm here. We have the horse. Okay, so this is like the chariot. This is endurance, this is strength, this is power, and they want to come towards you really quickly. Okay. What about the Seven of Swords? Whoa. Okay, now we have this Knight of Cups. This person is trying to decide which way to approach you. Or they are afraid that someone else is there. They, this seven, they're, they're holding back, or they might think you're holding back, but they do want to offer a cup here. Uh, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Okay, Salamander. It's like they're, they're trying to acclimate themselves to be able to fit in better. It feels like it might be there. There, it feels a little, feels a little shady with the seven of swords here. It's like they're holding on to this sword, 
So I feel like they want to come towards you, but they're still holding on some some pain. They're holding on to one of the swords that were here. It's like they, they have a backup or something. It's, I don't like that. I don't like to feel that card right now. Um, let's see, why is the four swords here? See, king of swords. Okay. And we have the devil here. See, this person is taking a time off. They're trying to figure out how they could clear this up. They want to come in with the truth here. This is a three of swords that are here over their head. They're holding on this sword that they kept from one of these swords, you know, and they're holding on to it. So they can't let it go. It's like they almost let let something go here or what happened. They're trying to heal from, but it's, they're not letting go of that last sword because they have it in their hand right here too. So they want to come to you with the truth, but it almost feels like they're ready to to defend themselves or they're ready to use the sword too it's like very weird feeling here okay and this is capricorn some of the i think they're just obsessing over you and they really are in their head about this we have here okay the seahorse okay could have something to do with the ocean the sea but it also could be that you know the seahorses they mate for life and whenever you see a seahorse too, it says a new relationship's coming in. I think there is a new relationship coming in. And there's also this past returning. And this person, when they see you with someone new or talking to someone new or getting attention from someone new, it's really going to bug them. This is where this devil's coming in. It might get them mad. Oh, see, there's something hidden here. They they feel like you have a real deep connection with them. They also feel that you're very um, psychic. And they feel you, though. They feel you really strong. And this and then with this devil energy, it's um, it, it gets it makes them crazy. So then um, yeah, this person might be possessive or jealous. Okay, let's see here. Let's see. You know, I'm gonna throw a couple cards on this because this one bothers me. Let's see. What's the story on this um, seven of swords with this knight of cups? Clarifying the knight of cups. This person might just feel a little insecure, maybe. But let's see what we get here. They want a victory with you. They want justice. So they want to come in and be fear and have justice here. Libra energy. And the high priestess. They, they feel this very strong connection with you. And they also, their secrets. There's something very mysterious that probably throws them off a little bit. And yeah, see, look at these secrets. Look at the moon. There's something hidden. They were hiding their emotions. They were keeping things from you. But I feel like this is their energy. This is Pisces energy. And this is your energy. Now, the high priest is Virgo um, Cancer energy. But I feel like this is your energy that they're feeling. Like, you're very powerful. And you know how to manifest. You know how to, you know, you know how to find out things. They're, they feel like they're hiding stuff. But you might know this stuff. I don't know why this is what they're telling me but they you might know something they're hiding and that makes them a little nervous so that's why the seven of swords is here because they're uh, they want to know what you know they're afraid of what you know because they're hiding something there's something they're trying to keep from you or they want to tell you but they don't know how to tell you so it makes them uncomfortable what about the king of cups spying instigate drama Hmm. So someone is spying, someone's watching you, and they're instigating drama, instigating trouble. Maybe that's where this three of swords came in. Could have been someone started trouble between. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> got to take out you and this person. Okay, what about this um Knight of Pentacles? We have here mystery, committed, sincere. Okay, there is a mystery. I feel like this person finds you a mystery. But they, they're very sincere that they want a commitment with you. Okay, what about this Queen of Wands? Phone call? Pleasure? New start. Okay, this you're going to be very pleased with this phone call. This person contacts you. They do want a new start. Okay, what about the Knight of Cups? We have career, admitted, exposed. So something to do with career, someone admitted something, or I said exposed, it's supposed to be expect. Someone, someone's going to admit something about their career. Okay. 
Um, but I said exposed, so take that for someone that might be exposed instead. I don't know why. Come on, let's expose. But we do have a seven of swords. So admitted, expect something about a career. Someone does. I don't know. I'm not going to rearrange those. Okay, what about the king of swords? What's going on with the king of swords? Cheater. Ooh, tower. Present. Okay. So now with this, this is Aries Scorpio with the tower. Something, something's going to happen or a surprise or something out of the blue, something unexpected. And it could be someone being, maybe that's where it's exposed, a cheater. It might be in the present time. Someone might pre present the person the surprise as a cheater. Or it's in the present time. Or someone might even be bringing a present. I don't know. Take that how it resonates with you guys. And let's see what signs we have. What are the signs here for Aquarius, please? What are the signs? Oops. Someone, someone flipping here. Who is this? Okay, Virgo wanted to flip. <laughs> Anybody else? No? Okay. Virgo. Aries. Aquarius, Cancer, Gemini, and Aquarius. Very strong Aquarius. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen that come up in your reading like that, the Aquarius, twice. Okay, guys. So this could be placements in your chart, placements in other people's charts, past, present, and future. And we have Virgo, Aries, Aquarius, Cancer, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, now for letters. Let's see what letters get. 11 letters, and this will be for first and last initial, and also, um, if you know, so if you get the first and last, and you know someone's middle name, you get that initial, all the better. Past, present, and future, and also your own. We have E, G, J, L, D, G, Z, E, Z, O, one more, and Z. Wow. Okay, so this is, um, for today we have E, G, J, L, D, G, Z, E, Z, O, C. Okay, now let's go for the names. What names do we have here for Aquarius, please? What are the names? We have Chandra, Chen, Chanda, C H A N D A. We have Justin, Brad, Phoebe, Hardeep, H A R D I P, um, Magdalene, Clara, Joe, Latonya. L A T O N Y A, Charlie, Kelly with an I, and Robin. Six. Okay, we have 12. There you go. Those are the names. All right, guys. Now remember, these are general readings. They are not personal pl readings. Please take what resonates. Please leave what doesn't. Um, don't try to make things fit. They don't fit. Just take the parts that seem to work with you since they are general. It might be a little bit of this for you, a little bit of that for someone else. So just keep that in mind. And um, please let me know if something resonates. Please leave comments. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all you like, your share, your subscribes, and your comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.